Hi everyone, Coach Steve uh, with my vlog for this week. Um, now I hope you guys had a better weekend than I did. Um, for those who have been following me for a while, in January I had a bad fall and I fractured my ribs and it worked out so well for me I decided to do it again. Well, not really. Okay, so um, I had a bit of a spill off the bike yesterday um, and we're racing in an aqua bike in Dublin Um it was a very technical course, and just before the bike started, which is not what you want, um, there was a bit of a downpour rain, and it's a technical rain, not a good combo. So as we were cycling along, one of the competitor um, tried to take me on the outside, and I think he hit a man hole cover, which you should know, as in like to avoid when wet, as in because they're just they're just very slippy. He went down. I went straight into his bike, went over, and um, didn't come off the best or it. Well, that's actually fair. And the abrasions are okay. I don't mind them too much. Um, so, yeah, and sorry to report, the bike did took, take a beating. Uh, front wheel is fairly mangled. I have to check the frame later on. But fingers crossed, that's all that's happened. Um, so not a great day. Um, I did, as I said... This is a weird thing as well. After the crash, I was able to walk the bike back. I got cleaned up, um, and I wasn't any experience any pain in my side. But literally an hour afterwards, now adrenaline shock, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, wore off, and then I started getting stabbing pains in my side or spasms. I went, okay, that's not great. Now, fair play to Vaughn, she was there, and she took us straight to one, uh, kind of one of the the rapid response clinics where you can get seen very quickly. And was diagnosed with just soft tissue damage, but I was having these very bad spasms, and they gave me um actually gave me morphine, which I've always wanted to have um to see what it's like. Built up on a, a diet of watching war movies, not as good as you think. Um, didn't really affect me that much. It got me home or on some of the painkillers, but the pain just kept on increasing, increasing. Um, I went and then it it just got that worse. I had to go to the A and E clinic that night for a second opinion yes as we would have thought from the outset suspected fractured ribs a bit more uh stronger painkillers patches and stuff but i'm in better form this morning fairly miserable and it, uh, look it's not great um it does put nice in doubt because i know it took at least in the world championships which i'm doing on the 12th of september i couldn't train last time i fractured uh, my ribs for three four weeks um which will tear into a big block of the training um, but it's the nature of the beast that we race in. You, every time you put on your tri suit, you know you've got to, you're taking risks, and that's why we do it. Um, and in fairness, actually, that that was my first ever crash in a race after twenty years of racing. So I've been quite lucky. Um, or just yesterday, I was, my my luck ran out. Um, I did actually. <laughs> it's strange how you react. Um, I was in a good position for the race. I was chasing an age group podium and I knew that that had ended the minute on my bike I looked at my bike and the spokes and I, and I started I was very rude to the other person who had also in a bit of shock and also is also new to the sport I know him um and I just I just started shouting at him and I was and it was only after shock calmed down and everything I actually felt very bad and um, so I actually met apologized he and it wasn't his fault it was just a simple accident but I was just seeing red at the time. And it, anyhow, but again, it just reacts, it affects you in different ways. And um, the other lesson I learned, I said, I never assumed that everything's okay after having a spill. As I said, that pain came on to me and it was a very severe pain an hour afterwards. So to make sure you do get checked out properly, um, even if you feel fine. Um, but as I said, we'll live to fight another day. Um, we'll see how badly the bike is damaged when we put it in the shop later on okay so but um oh yeah and by the way last time we did this i asked for thumbs up for my uh, healing and that seemed to work so if you want to give a thumbs up maybe i'll heal quicker maybe i'll be okay for nice yep shamelessly looking for thumbs up um but okay so if we'll talk a bit more positive stuff um in the race itself actually we had some really good performance some of the squad and the pb hit squad um we had first met of female home, a couple of age group podiums, etc., which is great. And, and it, it does take the edge off a shitty day for me. Um, I also had a, a bit of a funny moment um, in my growing YouTube fame. As I said, 
hashtag notions. Um, when you're registering, they just look for your 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 Triathlon Ireland ID and photo ID. And I was going up to register, and um, the guy goes who was doing the registration. I I saw you on a video. I saw you did the seventy dot three Mallorca video. I went, oh cool, how it go? And he goes like, yeah, no, it's great, and all the rest. And I had a really good day, and thanks for the info. It's brilliant. And then he goes, all right, you need photo ID as well. And I went, oh, I've forgotten it. And he goes, actually, we know who you are. So bit of fun and all the rest and it just worked out well but again and also a couple of other people came up to me in the race and said look i'm on your plans i recognize the tri suit or my voice or whatever and and came up it was great so that's not in it for the fame oh yes yeah. um, i know but it was a bit of fun it was great to see and, and i do encourage people to come up and chat to me pre post opening next race i make it to the end um but that i really enjoy that um what else is going on um Tonight we have a uh, with our PB Hit Squad webinar. We have a guest speaker. We have a nutritionist coming in, and I'm feeling a little bit generous because I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself. So if you would like to kind of hop in as a guest pass to see what we do, like on a weekly webinar, if you drop us an email to info at smartendurancesolutions.com, it's info at smartendurancesolutions.com, and um, I'll set put you up on the on the webinar invite. It's at eight p.m. Irish time, and it's promised to be a great session. 30 minute presentation by Jamie Layton, aka the nutrition the triathlete nutritionist, and then some questions and answers. So again, just ping me if you want. So that's that. Oh, and we are still feeling in good humor. So we have the giveaway uh, for this week for the free training plan. And it was a Rowena Wakaria. Again, apologies if I'm butchering the pronunciation, but Rowena Wakaria, if you email me at info at smartjournsolutions.com, we'll sort you out for your free plan. So, as I said, I hope your week's weekend was better than mine, and I hope you're having a good start to the week, and I hope your training is going well and safely, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in.